Well, we certainly feel like a family behind the scenes here at 3 News. And it's been so fun to get to know Chrissy ever since she walked through our doors and she joined us here uh, at WKYC Studios earlier this summer. Yeah, we love sharing more about our newest team members with all of you so you feel like you know them as well as we do. So we put together this next story to help you get to know a little bit more about our very own Christy and her wonderful family. Enjoy. I grew up in Bellevue, small town, spent the summers running through the neighborhood. My parents just knew I was somewhere nearby, <laughs> you know. My brother is six years younger than me. He was always a smart aleck <laughs> and he was funny. So it was just the four of us. My parents taught me a lot about what a good relationship looks like. And they still do. I just have the most wonderful memories of high school and football games. We lived, I don't know, three or four blocks, maybe five blocks max from the high school. And I was always late, so my dad most of the time had to drive me to, to school, which was just became a big joke. I was really blessed to have good, solid friends. And people are going, you still know friends in high school? And I said, yes, I do. We still, we still talk and connect. When I got to college, I was in broadcasting, and then I changed majors twice. I went into elementary education and child psychology, and I ended up going back because I think it was just calling to me. But that's one of the things I tell people, too, is you might not know what you want to do, and that's okay. I changed my major twice. I went back to what I started in. It's fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> Don't let that pressure get to you. I met my husband one night in Chicago. I was at a friend's house visiting and she said hi this is Pete and I just went oh my goodness it, w it was immediate and it just it has been it's been the love of my life we actually celebrated 20 years this year this past June so it was a really big summer for us of all the things in the world that I knew I wanted to be, I knew I wanted to be a mom. We never found out in advance if we were having a boy or a girl, but I knew I was gonna have a girl. At some point, I knew I was a girl mom. So Ava is 18, Sophie is 16, and Sadie is 12. And Ava's going to Ohio State, of course. My father's so happy he graduated law school from Ohio State. I disappointed him, my brother disappointed him, we did not go to Ohio State, so she's fulfilling the dream. Anybody who follows me on Instagram knows that faith is a big part of my life. I've had so many conversations with people and heard about how they've gotten through things. I always tell people, it is nothing short of the grace of God that this worked out. Because Atlanta was a hard move, especially with a kid who's gonna be a junior in high school. I was really concerned about them and making sure that this would be a move that would be good for them. We just had great experiences with people who reinforced how good this move could be. And now that I've been at the station a couple of weeks, I, I get it. It's so much fun. I am surrounded by such good people. Being home again, on some levels, feel, feels like I never left. True. Feels like I never left. Well, maybe a little. I'm <laughs> <laughs> a lot older now. Home's where the heart you know, is, though, you know? It really it's is. Good. I was just having a conversation <clears throat> with a friend of mine who said the same thing. They went to Florida. She's been all over the place. We talk about, you know, where do we want to end up? Right. And I go, you can't talk to me about that until I know where my yeah. kids are. Yeah. And, and, and yeah. I have some time. Yeah, people. you have plenty I've of time. I've got a lot of time. time. Yes, you, time. you mentioned how Pete's the, you know, lone man <laughs> in our family. Yeah. <laughs> He's the king of the, king castle. Of the castle. Don't yeah. let him fool you yeah. that he's yeah. got it, you know, tough. Still, if he needs to talk to us, he can <laughs> yeah. text us guys. We're here. I mean, Don't go to I'm sure you're going to give him some, you Peter, know. we're here if you need us. Yeah, just, <laughs> okay. come on in. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful, oh, he will. beautiful family. <laughs> awesome. We are yeah. thrilled to have you home. Um, from someone who made that move after being yes, gone for so did. many years, yeah. I can tell you there will be no regrets. Because there when you're great. home, everything is better. It just Everything feels better. Is better. And everybody's happy. You know, I, I said it was going to yeah. be hard, and it, it has, it's still, you know, it's kind of chunky sometimes. Sure. It feels a little unstable, but yeah. I'll tell you what, to move a junior in high school oh, and a uh, easy, right? seventh grader. It's tough. Yeah. They, they have been embraced. It has been 
amazing. They've got a Nothing great support short of the system, grace of God. Though, and they'll be great. As do I. Thank you, yeah. Kim. We're here for you. We're here for you, kiddo. We're here for you, kiddo.